with an EDC video for you. You guys know most of the time I like to talk about knives and this is the knife I had in my pocket today so I thought I'd throw this guy out here uh, just to let you take a look at it while I introduce this video. What we're actually going to talk about today a little bit is pens and I've got to say guys that I've been a bit of a nerd about pens for a long time, even longer than knives in fact. When I was a little kid I borrowed someone's pen. I can't remember who it was, but I remember that it was a pilot pen and it had sort of one of those gel uh, tips. And I really, really liked it. When I was a little kid, I used to do a lot of doodling and stuff like that. And I, I doodled like all through church with this pen. And I just thought, this is the coolest pen. I just love this thing. And so <laughs> that kind of started a weird habit that I got into. We'd go to the mall and instead of looking at the, you know, the ga video game stores or the clothing shops, uh, I I would go to Grandin Toy and spend my money on a couple of new pens, usually Pilot or Uniball. I just liked the way they felt when I was writing more than anything else. And to me as a kid, like I thought, you know, I, I didn't know anything about high-end pens or anything like that. I just really liked the way they wrote. And so I would go and, and buy them, you know, something like this. This is, you know, these weren't around when I was a kid, but this is a, a really nice Pilot pen. And it feels just like I remember them feeling as a kid. This is the Pilot uh, Doctor Grip. Uh, so, more over over time, you know, I got into to knives, especially. But before I even got into knives, I discovered this pen. This is the Zebra F701, and I think there's the 401 as well, with sort of a rubber grip here. And I I really enjoyed both of those more as EDC pens. I carried them around with me. I still. I still in some ways prefer the way a, knife a pen like this feels for writing large volumes of material, but because of, because of the toughness of this, the simplicity of it, and it still writes very nicely. It's not like it's, you know, it's bad. The other thing I like is these have a very, very fine line. I really, I don't like, even this line is a bit heavy for me, but this I like quite a bit. Now. I have tried a number of tactical pens. I've tried a charade. I've tried um, a CRKT. I, I've tried both of them. One of them I had the Fisher Space Pen refill and the other, I can't even remember. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, what I found was number one, the Fisher Space Pen refill feels like I'm writing with a crayon, like it's thick and round and heavy and just not enjoyable to write with at all. Uh, the line is too thick. It just, anyway, I do not like the Fisher Space Pen refills whatsoever. Um, and also tactical pens tended to be overly heavy and just not enjoyable. So I was talking to Justin recently and so I've been sticking with this. I've tried others and I always come back to it. So recently I was talking to Justin over at White Mountain Knives about this very problem. He said, you know, I've been carrying and using the Wii T02 and I really like it. Uh, why don't you try one out? So I got him to send along this guy. So let me give you a close look. You can see this is the blacked out version. It is a bolt action pen and it's actually reasonably thin. Now this, this pen, wow, I don't know why this is so difficult, but there we go. Wasn't writing very well when I first started there, but this pen uses, um, well, I'll show you the, the insert here now. It uses one of these Schmidt, Schmidt Megalines, or that's what it ships with. It will take anything from the, there's a, a designation G2, which describes a number of refills that fit the, uh, the Jotter pens, which are really, really popular. And so anything that fits the Jotter pens will fit in here. And uh, I've got, and I actually, I have some Jotter refills in the fine tip coming for this and I think I'll like them a little bit more even than what's in here although this is not bad it's much better than uh, many of the the you know just your standard if you pick up like a big ballpoint pen or any any of the op pens you'll see around uh, this is going to be quite a bit nicer than those um, it's not quite as nice uh, I don't like the line anyway quite as much as I do on the F701. Anyway, I was, uh, you know, in kind of anticipating this, I watched a couple of reviews waiting for it and stuff, and somehow it was discovered by me that the F701 had a, I don't know, a, a beefed up option out there. So this is the F701, this is the X701, and I'll give you a nice good close-up of that 
as well. Let's see right there, X701. 0.7 millimeter. Now, what's interesting is it does not take the same refill, and I've got a, I've got two little complaints about the 701. I still like it more than any other pen that I've tried, but there are two things. One, when the refill starts to get down, when it doesn't have as much ink left in it, it, it starts to not write as well. So this is how it's working right now. So you can see I wrote this line in preparation uh, just to say uh, two things about this. One. The pen, because of because of the way it's not it's not quite as smooth as the refill starts to empty, um, and because of the size, this can get a little tiring if you have to write a ton of stuff. So I don't know if you're at a conference or if you're taking a class where you got to write a lot of notes, this can get a little tiring. Uh, plus, let me show you the refills on here. When this refill gets to about this point. Now they come, you know, not even that much full of that, but I would say when they get to, to about halfway uh, empty, it starts to not feel as good. The line lightens up quite a bit and it just doesn't slide over the page as well. So what I normally do is I basically use like half the refill every time, throw it away and put a new one in to keep my writing experience enjoyable. Um, but I, you know, I don't love doing that. So the this, I think, offers a pretty interesting alternative. This is the X701. I'll put an Amazon link to this. By the way, I'll have a White Mountain Knives, uh, go to White Mountain Knives to pick one of these up. I think they're like $45, $50, and you can save 10% off with my discount code. So really good deal on this guy. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're $80. But still, 7 to 10% off is still good, and you're getting a very nice, very lightweight um, full titanium pen. All right, so this is the Wii T02. I think Justin probably has the T03 and another uh, a couple of others over there. He doesn't have any of the Civivis in stock. The Civivi is like this, only instead of titanium, it's going to be aluminum. Okay, so back to the X701. This is an interesting pen because what happens is when you depress the, the plunger here, it actually slides a piece into the refill and puts that ink under pressure. So what you end up getting is the same, let's see if I can show you this, the same 7 mil tip, there we go, the same 7 mil tip as you get on the normal F701, but you get a little more pressure behind the ink, so this ends up sliding better and feeling a little easier to write with, even though you're still getting that nice, thin, crisp line that I enjoy. Okay, and that's where, you know, some of these gel pens, where they fail, even this one, if you're writing a lot, uh, let's see if I can do it. See how you start to get little weird things happening at the ends of your lines? Because, I don't know. So I don't love the, the lines that I get with the gel pens all the time. I actually prefer this line. It just seems cleaner. Both of these uh, just seems cleaner and more precise. And even this one, uh, to a, a slightly lesser extent, you can see it's a little heavier of a line that you get from this. I'm hoping that's improved by the Jotter refill. So... Uh, I've got three pens here, all of which I think make pretty nice EDC options, as well as pretty nice writing tools, okay? So if you've got a, a bunch of notes to take, I think this one works pretty well. This might be a little heavy for taking a lot of notes, but certainly what it lacks in, you know, ease of use, you can still, like, you can still write a lot with this, and I don't see any big problems with it, but um, it's a little bit heavy, okay? Uh, not as not nearly as heavy as most tactical pens, and I have to say that bolt action is super super fun to fidget fidget with. Uh, the only thing you'll have to keep in mind if you get one of these, you're going to drive all your friends crazy constantly flicking this pen because it's super addictive. Okay. Uh, by the way, it's available in a number of different colors if you don't want the all black. I didn't really care because you know uh, I didn't know how I was going to feel about it anyway. Uh, so. Uh, let me give you a quick size rundown on these, and you'll see a quick difference here. So the 701, which is the one I've had the longest, and one probably many of you are familiar with, it is five and a quarter inches, including the, the plunger here, uh, three-eighths of an inch thick, and 0.73 ounces. 
All right, the we here is five inches, still three eighths of an inch thick. Okay, that's back here at the square portion. It's obviously thinner down here by the tip of the pen. Uh, 1.3 ounces, so quite a bit heavier, almost double the weight and more than double the weight of the X701, which is actually pretty cool. X701, this is 7 sixteenths thick, so it's certainly a thicker pen, five and three eighths long, but it only weighs 0.45 ounces. So it's very lightweight. And I will say this for, I think this was 14 something or 15 something. So for like 15 bucks, you get this pen plus two extra refills. So that's pretty darn good. Um, and of course, after that, you can just uh, buy more and more refills. So you're not stuck spending that money again. So overall guys, what I have here are two alternatives to the 701 both of which i find pretty compelling so i will you know i'll spend some time with these and at some point i mean i, I probably won't make a whole nother video about this but i may um certainly i'll, I'll talk a little bit about how i like the jotter refill the out of all of these pens the x701 seems sort of the most balanced if you're looking for sort of a, a tactical hard use heavy duty type of pen i think this is a good option is it significantly better than this no and it definitely looks more tactical so that could give you problems i don't know getting on a plane or something like that of course this is a full-on tactical pen made from milled titanium which is going to be heavier but very very enjoyable i have to say i like the Wii quite a bit. And, and if you had, if I was going to pick one that I had to carry with me every day, I would pick the Wii because it's just cooler, right? And the fact is, you know, this is almost 2020. It probably will be 2020 by the time this video posts. And so you're not doing a ton of writing. Um, that means, you know, you can use a pen like this to make some short brief notes in a meeting or something like that. Uh, if most of your writing is done on a tablet or a computer or something, uh, if you're going to do more writing, you'd probably lean toward this one. This still gives you, you know, that toughness and durability, but it's not nearly as cool or fun as <laughs> the Wii. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope that's not a complete bore to you. I, I'm a bit of a pen nerd, I'll admit. Uh, and it's, it's not that I like the super high end, like I don't care about fountain pens. I don't care about you know the, I don't know a lot of the stuff that I see in pen reviews that and I've looked at some pen channels just to see what do these guys talk about uh, I'm not interested at all in most of that stuff my thing is a pen that feels really good writing that I can carry around with me and feel it's pretty confident even if I drop it or you know it, it you know something that can take a bit of a beating and so all three of these meet the criteria that I enjoy for a pen I will you know I may try out some different refills and if you're watching this and you've got recommendations please let me know down in the comments if you've got any refills where what I what I'd really enjoy is something that feels a little like this this is the the doctor grip something that has a, a thinner tip so this is almost too thin but this is almost too thick so something right in between that fits any of these i'd love to hear those recommendations down in the comments thanks for watching don't forget to use those links uh, first off i've got amazon links for these two and white mountain knives for this very very cool uh, wee pen uh, this is the wee t02 all right uh, there, i think there's a t03 and a t04 out there somewhere uh, i'm not sure which of these justin has in stock but there you go guys thanks for you know bearing with me as i talk about pens i know we're not all that interested in pens and i'm not as interested in pens either as i am in knives but uh, it is an edc implement that i do carry quite a lot and rather enjoy so thanks for watching we'll talk to you soon